Okay, let's take a look at scenes. So with scenes, one of the things I can do is I have, this is just one scene that I am in. So what I could do, for example, um, I could, let's create something here. Let's add something into the scene. Um, I've got this little shape here. I'm going to rotate it up and let's move it up and let's move it towards this part. Actually, let's see if we can rotate it this way. Okay. Um, and so what I want to do, actually, let's rotate it back. Let's put it over here, rotate it back that way. There we go. Um, let's give it a sort of a cool color there. And let's give it a little bit of a behavior. So I'm gonna add a behavior um, that Tap on here. When the scene starts, this object is going to spin. Let's see how that works. There we go, that's not too bad. I'm gonna turn up the iterations. Let's try that again so it spins a little bit faster. Okay, so that's one behavior. So this is gonna be spin. Okay, and then let's look at Adding another one, uh, another custom behavior. So I'm gonna add here, when I tap that object, this object, when you tap it, it's going to go to, uh, where is it? Change scene. Now I don't have another scene yet, so let's do that. Let's go up to the top here and tap on this and you'll see scene. So I'm actually gonna add a scene. I'm gonna add a horizontal scene. So this is just gonna be another scene. And let's import something in here. Um, I don't know, maybe there's some places I could put uh, in here. Okay, I've got a, there we go. I've got this um, lighthouse. Uh, I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go, lighthouse. So it's gonna take me to this scene. Um, and let's go back to this first one. Let's hide that box so I can see a little bit better. Tap back on my behaviors. So um, this one here has a little exclamation mark beside it because I haven't told it where to go. Um, let's change the name of that scene. Um, let's call it portal. Like I'm going through a portal to scene two, okay? And I'm gonna say choose scene, go to scene, that's scene one there. So I guess that other one was scene zero, but let's just call it that, okay? So now, if I go play here, you see if I tap this ball, it's gonna do that. If I tap this, it's gonna take me to that scene. Now I'm actually stuck here. I'm gonna to have to find a way to get back because I didn't design one to get back. But again, what you could do is you could go here and create another portal or something else, whatever you wanna do, that will get you back to that, that original scene. And you could make it, you could even make it so that when you create it, it is a, it appears, for example, let's just really quickly uh, put in that spinning one here. Pretend it's spinning on the ground. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but you could create it so that it um, starts hidden. So that object is hidden. Then I could um, customize. I wanna make it so that proximity to camera when you are, select that one, choose that one. When you're a meter away from that, it will show, okay? And then I could, one more, I could add a trigger. When you tap it, I want you to change scene back to scene number one. So it's only gonna appear, this one means it's only gonna appear, it's only gonna appear, it's gonna start hidden, it's gonna appear when I get close enough to it, and it's gonna to go to scene one. Oh, I haven't chosen the object. Choose, object, there we go. So that's why that exclamation point was there. But you can see you can have a lot of fun with this and explore.